So let's just start sitting tall and straight. Close the eyes. Bring the attention inward. Nothing to do, nothing to seek. Everything we need is already within. Let's begin with the sound of Om three times to attract divine attention. Feel as though you're trying to make the sound reach the end of the universe. sacred text of yoga, the Lord Krishna said to Arjuna, fix your mind on me alone, rest your thoughts on me alone, and in me you will live hereafter. Of this there is no doubt. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering and enjoy this practice through our senses. As we always do, let's start this practice with a Ganesha chant. Ganesha is a protector that's, that allows us to remove all the barriers as well and to fully embrace the practice in the most complete way. So it's call and response, I do a line and then you do a line. So let's begin with preparatory breathing. Breathing in through the left and out through the left three times and then through the right nostril three times. Then inhale left, exhale right three times, back the other way, right to the left. So this is the course to help you to prepare for alternate nostril breathing later on. Left hand and yana mudra on the left knee, right hand. Second and third fingers fold down to form Vishnu Mudra, turn the palm towards the face, and then it becomes a Pranayama Mudra. So sitting up tall and straight as always, exhale completely, close off the right side, inhale left, exhale left. Inhale left, 
exhale. Inhale, exhale. Close the left, now open the right, inhale right. Exhale right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now close the right, open the left, inhale left. Close left, open right, exhale. Close right, inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Close right, inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Back the other way, inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Close left, inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Close left, inhale right. Close right, exhale left. And bring the hand down. Next, we'll do the warm-up breathing techniques. They are also used to um, promote release of toxins. The first one we do is Bastrika breath. So this is good for uh, stimulating the Muladhara chakra and build heat. It tones the abdomen and it um, helps to oxygenate, oxygenate the blood and aerate the lungs. So we're going to do it. We can start slow and then we're going to build. And then if you just try to accentuate every fourth one. This helps you keep a rough timing. So if you're just, for instance, trying to do um, two minutes worth, each four is a little bit more than the second, but if you do 120 of them, then you'll do about two minutes. Okay, so we might not do two minutes completely, but at home, um, if you're doing your own practice, then I would aim for about two, uh, two rounds at least of whatever length that you can manage. So between one and two minutes, you can build up to two minutes. Okay, so let's begin. Both hands in Yana Mudra on the knees, sitting up tall again. Breathe out completely. Inhale part way and begin. going keep going at the speed they're comfortable with if you need to um if you get tired just slow it down but then pick up the speed again when you when you're ready keep the nostrils wide open Exhale completely. Take a deep breath in. Fill up the lungs, then hold the breath. As you hold the breath, contract the perineum muscles, pull them up towards the navel. Bring the chin right against the chest and the tongue behind the teeth to the upper palate. Watch the space between the eyebrows. Keep your attention there to attract all the vital force.
Slowly exhale, release the locks. Exhale in a steady stream, not a big explosion. Always aiming to keep control of the vital force. From the solar plexus, inhale up to the space between the eyebrows. We call it trikuti. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Establish yourself in your power. And again, solar plexus to the third eye. Inhale. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Breathe normally for a couple of cycles. Getting ready for round two. Inhale part way and begin. Exhale completely. Inhale. Inhale very deeply, then hold the breath. Again, apply the throat to the root lock. Imagine you're squeezing all the muscles of the root going up towards the navel. The chest is high, the chin right against it. Watch the space between the eyebrows again. Try to not let your mind waver from that point of focus. Keep holding, keep your attention at the third eye as always. Exhale, slowly release the throat and the tension in the throat and the root. Solar plexus to the third eye, breathe in. Watch the breath moving between those two points. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Again, breathe in right up to the space between your eyebrows. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Take a moment to take note of any changes, any subtle, however subtle, in the mental, emotional, or physical state. Next breathing technique, Pastrika breath. Very similar in the benefits that it delivers to the body. This one works especially on the Manipura chara, chakra, which is loaded, the navel chakra. And this one is also known as, a, this is also a Kriya, so it is a cleansing technique. So it brings about purification of the body through this practice. So this, imagine you're beating a drum. It's like the rhythm of like about one second per exhale working a diaphragm and imagine you're just throwing a belly button put against the front of the spine. It's a nice forceful breathing. 
the inhale happens automatically as a result of the pressure formed by the exhale. So you don't have to worry about the inhale. Concentrate on the exhale. So we'll give that a try. And again, we do try, we'll do two rounds and um, eventually in your home practice, you can try to work out for two to two minutes per round. As always, we'll apply the kumbhaka, the breath retention at the end of the cycle. So breathe out completely. Breathe in, part way, begin. Exhale. Now breathe in, right up to the top of the chest. Apply the throat in a root lock. Watch the space between the eyebrows. Train your mind to be still. Control the mind or controls you. Try to hold for a little bit longer, keep the mind calm in spite of the tension, physical tension that you might be feeling. Slowly exhale, softly. From the solar plexus, breathe all the way up to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Again, solar plexus to the third eye. Breathe in. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Let's breathe normally for a cycle or two of breaths. Let's begin round two. Breathe in, exhale completely. Breathe again part way in and begin.
Exhale completely. Inhale deeply again. Fill up the lungs. Now hold the breath. Contract the root and muscles. Chin on the chest, shoulders down, face is relaxed. Watch the space between the eyebrows. Keep ensuring the back is straight, not slouching as you, when you bend the head down. Exhale. Inhale from the solar plexus to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale back down to that origin. And again, breathe up to Trikuti. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Once again, scan the body. Scan the mental state, state and the emotional state. Notice any changes. Be unconcerned. It's like you're the witness watching everything. Relax. So just a word of breath retention. If you can't hold it to the length that I'm cueing, don't worry about it. If it's going to make you um, just gasp for air afterward and just allow the breath to explode out of the body, then it's better to just let go when you need to. So that the breath, the breath, the, the exhale is as controlled as the inhale. Okay, so it's always about control of the vital force. Next, Ujjayi breathing, victorious breathing. So this is a technique that helps to generate heat. And it also helps to promote, it helps to um, increase lung capacity as well. What we're doing is we can concentrate the attention between just a little bit below the belly button to the top of the chest. So you're breathing as much as you can on the inhale within that space. Exhale, you deflate. So inhale, you just watch the chest inflate. Exhale, you just deflate the same way. Chest deflates and then the belly. And you're doing this to a constrict, uh, partially constricted throat to always have that sound in your throat, that um, sort of like um, Darth Vader sounding breath or ocean sound. Okay, so if you having trouble with that, you just imagine you're, you can start with your mouth open to make it audio, uh, like to, to hear the audible uh, breath. Then eventually you close your mouth, but the sound keeps on going. So let's give it a try. We'll do 12 rounds in total, after which we'll do Kumbhaka. Sing up tall again. Breathe in, exhale completely. And let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Watch the movement of the chest in your mind. In. Out and feel it happening physically. In. Out. In, out, 
in, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. Take a deep breath in, fill the lungs. Now apply the throat to root lock, chin on the chest. Keep holding the breath, see if you can gulp in a little bit more air, but do it subtly. Again, see if you can take in a little bit more air. Keep the throat in the root lock, the attention at the third eye. One last time, do you have any more space? If so, fill it up. Slowly exhale. Let it all go slowly. From the solar plexus, breathe up to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale back down. And again, watch the breath moving up to the third eye. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. We're gonna do one more kumbhaka. Inhale deeply. Now hold the breath, attention at the third eye, apply the locks. Breathe in a little bit more air if you can. Again, as you see fit, take in more air if there's space. One last time, inhale a little bit deep more. Slowly exhale, relax the locks. Just take note of the body, the mind, and the emotions. Keep on being a witness, undisturbed, unconcerned, unjudging. Relax the knees if you need to. Next, breathing for specific conditions. We do a different one every week. This time we're going to try Samavriti Pranayama. It's called same, um, it means, Samavriti means same, sameness. So what we're going to do is we're going to imagine the outline of a box. Okay, so we're going to trace the outline. Inhale up one side, hold across the top, Exhale down the opposite side, hold out the breath out across the bottom. So inhale, you're visualizing the outline being drawn the whole time. Hold the breath in as you move across the top, exhale down the other opposite side, hold the breath out as you return to the starting point. And we'll just do this on a count of about four counts per side. So I'll cue you and then I'll let you go on your own. Just try to keep the rhythm steady. So sitting up tall and straight, close the eyes. Breathe in, just uh, clear the breath, exhale. 
completely. And now we begin. Inhale up, left. Three, four. Holding across the top. Two, three, four. Exhale down the bottom, to the bottom. Two, three, four. Hold across the bottom, the breath out. Two, three, four. Inhale up, left side again. Two, three, four. Hold the breath in across the top. Two, three, four. Exhale, come down the other side. Two, three, four. Hold the breath out as you move back to the origin. Two, three, four. Inhale up. Hold across the top. Exhale down the other side. Hold across the bottom. On empty. Inhale up the left. Hold across the top. Exhale down the other side. Hold on empty as you return the bottom. Inhale up. Hold on full across the top. Keep watching that outline being drawn. Exhale down the other side. Hold across the bottom on empty. Go on your own now. Continue. Keep the count even. One more cycle after you complete the concurrent one. Once you're done, you can rest your knees. So pranayama has many benefits, not only physiological benefits, they help to purify the system, they help to quiet the mind, which is helpful when you're doing the meditation, but they also help with these visualize it when you combine them with these visualization techniques to make the mind creative. And the benefit of having creative mind is that it helps us to visualize more, helps us to um, manifest more in our visions. So pranayama also finds its way into other um, techniques like psychic development, in which we're trying to um, use these techniques in order to manifest our goals. So the more creative your mind, the more you can, the, the more you have available to you to uh, create and to, uh, um, you know, to uh, realize. So now we're going to move on to Nadi Shodana. Again, there's a visualization that's attached to this practice, that's attached to this pranayama technique. It's alternate nostril breathing with no retention. So we're inhaling through the left, 
Pause in the middle, hold both sides of the nose closed. Exhale through the right, inhale back through the right. Pause, close the nose, exhale through the left. That's one cycle. On the inhale, imagine breathing down into your lungs. Imagine the lungs located at the root of the body. Exhale, imagine a breath rising back up. So you're watching the breath constantly going down on the inhale, up on the exhale. And make it more powerful, you apply a friction technique, friction breathing, which means that you imagine a coolness going down on the inhale. Exhale back up. So it's a little bit counterintuitive to what you would normally find, like um, yeah, maybe what you might normally visualize on the inhale. You might think you think of the chest rising and falling, but so this is sort of the opposite. But um, you can think of that as your friction, your your resistance. Okay, so however you like to however you like to explain or justify it to yourself, rationalize it to yourself. So we're going to try that now. So sitting up tall and straight. If you're doing this in your home practice, I like to do about five minutes of this. It's a very calming technique. So breathe in just to start. Exhale completely. Bring the right nose up to the right hand up to the face and then close off the right side. Inhale left. Close right, left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Inhale left, down. Exhale right, watch the breath moving back up. Inhale right, go down into the lungs. Exhale left. Watch your breath going up. Inhale left, down. The breath, the coolness follows it. Exhale right, feel the coolness coming back up the spine. Inhale right, exhale left, up. Inhale down, exhale right, up. Inhale right, down, exhale left, up. Inhale, left, down into lungs. Exhale, right, come back up. Feel the coolness rising with it. Inhale, down, right side. Exhale, left, up. Continue on your own. If you like to elongate the inhale and the exhale cycles, you may just try to keep the inhale matched to the exhale in duration. Keep watching the breath moving. If you lose at any point via concern, just start again when you can. The visualization.
Do one more cycle after your current one completes. Once you're done, you may relax the knees again. Next technique, very powerful technique and the one that often leads us, a very good one to do before you start your meditation because it helps to quiet the mind right down. Alternate nostril breathing with breath retention, Surya Chandra Kumbhaka Pranayama. So it's the same as we just did, except you add in the breath retention with the locks, the throat inner root lock and the attention at the third eye. So we're going to do um, the Shivananda style one, which means that there's no set uh, rhythm, there's no set count. So you inhale and exhale about the same rate, same duration. The, ex the hold is as long as you can comfortably. So again, don't hold until you have to, until it makes you explode the breath out of the body. Hold it until you're comfortable, uh, you're, until you're comfortable edge and then exhale. So that's controlled. So we're going to start off with the left and then hold the breath, exhale through the right, inhale through the right, hold the breath, exhale through the left. So in, it's starting and ending on the left side. For the first couple, we'll, the first cycle or so, we'll do it together. Just imagine you're holding a breath that, that that's, you know, the, as long as you are. And then when you go on your own, you can hold it as long as you want. So let's begin. Getting the right hand ready to prepare. Exhale completely. Close the right side, inhale to the left. Hold the breath, plug the nose, contract the root muscles, pull them up towards the navel. Chin against the chest, tongue behind the teeth to the upper palate. Watch the space between the eyebrows. Exhale through the right, release the locks. Inhale through the right. Holding, again, throat lock, root lock. Attention at Trikuti. Keep the back erect and straight. Exhale, release through the left. Continue on your own.
do one more round. Once you're done, hands in Yana Mudra on your knees, sitting up tall and straight. Make any adjustments you need to to ensure that you can be still for the next five minutes. For our meditation today, it is said that in every body, so hum resonates all through our all throughout each and every body is constantly going on with the breath inhale so exhale hum it's completely involuntary and unconscious as i said it means i am that that i am that being the divine manifestation of God, that being divinity. I am you, you are me. So as you inhale, breathe as you normally would. On the inhale, so, exhale, hum. Just continue to say to yourself mentally, I am you, you are me, I am that, that I am. One fact that divine spark resides in, within each, within us resides in each and every being. is through that idea that we, that truth, that we are all connected to one another. the practice of yoga through the asanas you 
pass through different forms. We imitate different beings as when we really tap into their consciousness and into their divine qualities, that we start to feel very connected, one with that form. And it is at that point that we feel that strong pull, that strong connection. And the more we practice, the more we find the ease to connect with all forms, regardless of their shape, regardless of their makeup, etc. And thus we find divinity in each and every being, just as we find it within ourselves. receptive to the divine grace within. Namaste. This concludes our practice. Thank you so much for joining and for sharing space with me tonight. Thank you, Justine. Thank you. Thank you.